Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. And my name is Kenya Rodriguez and I'm kind of a self-taught makeup artist. So today we have this festival inspired look. Uh, this is a Nochella because homegirl was poor and I've never been at Coachella and honestly, you know, I'm not, I'm more of an EDC type of girl. Anyway, so you could definitely wear this for EDC, for any upcoming music festivals in your area. It's super fun. I use these jewels, which I got at Ulta. They are from a kit, actually. They're super easy to just, they just stick on your face. It is the Love and Light Festival Face Kit from Models Own. It comes in this box. It also comes with glitter, uh, some body glitter, and faux freckles. So, super awesome. As for my face, I use the Sephora Pro Palette and just some NYX glitter and just glob it on there. So, you see me in braids for most of the video. My pigtails are kind of like acting up because my hair is so short. So, I just kind of swooped them in the back and did like a little updo instead. So I liked how it turned out and yeah. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, please keep watching. All right, let's jump right in. I'm starting off by taking this bright neon pink shade from the Sephora editorial palette and blending it in the crease. I already went ahead and did my foundation as well as my concealer and all that good stuff just to go ahead and save some time and then just keep blending 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 until your arm falls off dipping in blending building up that color and I'm just using a Morphe M441 blending brush to do this so next, I am taking the shade right next to the previous one you used. It's a pretty raspberry color, and I'm putting it right on top of that color and also putting it in the outer corner. Just a little bit tighter into the crease. And for this, I'm using a SL Miss Glam Fluffy Crease Brush. Then I'm taking this pretty NYX glitter in Beauty Beam with some glitter glue in a flat synthetic brush and just applying that all over the lid. So I also um, got a new microphone, shout out to the hubs. And so I'm pretty damn sure you can hear my dog snoring next to me, my kids watching TV in the living room, and probably my next door neighbor chewing gum. So, um, forgive me. <laughs> I am applying this a little less precise than I would like to. The original plan was to go in with a white liner in the crease area, but I realized I did not have a white eyeliner and the eyeliner brush that I did have was a little too thick. So um, I ended up actually wiping everything off and redoing it. So it'll end up being a little bit better and more defined. Uh, but either way, I went in here and just took a fluffy brush just to wipe away any excess fallout from glitter. So next, I am taking these two colors right here. The first is a pretty lavender shade. And at first, as you can see when I'm putting it on, it still looks pink. So I'm layering it on little by little and trying to build that color. And then I'm barely tapping into the blue to try and get that nice true purple shade that I'm looking for. And for this, I'm just using a Sigma pencil brush to kind of smudge it out and smoke it along the lower lash line. And now we are going to highlight our brow bone area with this light frosty pink shade and I'm just using a large shader brush to do this. So now we're going to go in with my favorite mascara of life, which is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and we're just going to prep for falsies. 
And the lashes that I'm using are the Golden Hour Lashes in the style Queen. I like to pinch my real lashes with the fake ones to try and blend them in a little bit more and make them a little more seamless. Now we're going to highlight our inner corners using this liquid shadow from Stila in Diamond Dust. It's so pretty, it's so shiny, and it sparkles like diamond in the sky. Hence the name Diamond Dust. All right, let's move on to lips. So here I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Dusty Rose, which is just a beautiful, cool toned, mauvey pink. For lip gloss, I honestly don't know the name of it. It's worn off, but I just know it's from the MAC Holiday Collection. If I find it, I'll try and list it down below. Let's move on to the glow. So for this, I'm using the Huda Beauty Winter Highlighting Palette, and I'm pretty sure I used all the shades. Um, I started it off with the cream base, and then I keep layering on the other colors little by little. Oh, look at that. Oh, ew. Excuse me. So now I'm going to take the Love and Light kit from Models Own and take the jewels and pretty much they kind of work like a sticker and just stick them all over your face. If I were to wear these again, I would actually take the bottom pieces and probably put them on top and just flip them over. But either way, they're super pretty, super affordable. I got it at Ulta for around 10 to 12 bucks, no more than that. You can also choose to skip the jewels, but I was trying to be a little bit extra. So once you're done with the jewels, this look is complete. So this is our final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It's super easy, super fun. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and leave any suggestions down below. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also turn on your notifications to be notified anytime I upload. So thanks again for all your support. Love you guys bunches and see you next time. Bye. So, so if you don't wanna look this silly, and H porque me pica. Looking for me. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Testing, testing. Boom, boom.